So check this out. We needed a chicken. And we had to find some chickens. We're gonna steal some chickens. And some eggs. Honestly, we just didn't want to wear our masks at the grocery store, yeah, so we're so not gonna buy any eggs. Here we go. We're gonna take them. Ladies, look out. He's entering their environment. He's having you out with the really white eyes. dangerous. Go! Go! Miles back in the kitchen with Cooking with Chaos and today I got a very special guest, James Randall from Real Unicorn Productions. He's a director, actor, and a rock and roller. So Shred, what you got, man? Oh man, we're gonna make it classic today, bro. Stuffed mushrooms to start, chicken parmesan, followed up by cranberry blondies. Blondies? Blondies. Speaking of blondies. Hey. Alright, so the first thing we're gonna start off with is of course the sauce. The sauce takes time to get right and you wanna let it cook and kind of simmer down for about an hour at least. Um, so we've got our basics right here, crushed tomatoes, tomato paste, fresh tomatoes, you can use any kind, I like to use rolled myself, onion, uh, the rest of this is going to be going into everything else. Of course, we are going to fire that up first. Alright. Hey, James Randall and I'm back. Of course, you cannot make any kind of cooking video without a beautiful assistant. Why are you panning over there? Don't keep it on me. <laughs> so I have Amanda here to help us out, and of course, she is wielding a knife, because I like my lady onions. She's going to be chopping up this onion, which is going to kick off our sauce, a little bit of garlic, salt. Okay, so as far as onions go, what people don't really realize about them is that this part on the end, the bulb part, is where you actually have the most concentrated stuff that makes you cry. So I leave that on until the very end in order to avoid crying my contacts out. Right? So you're going to do your basic onion, cut it in half, Scare Wolf, be sure. Uh, the first onions that I use for my sauce, the, this smaller part, as you can see, I'm going a little finer with the cut. I want them to kind of like liquefy in the pan almost. So, always put your, uh, tuck your fingers back so you don't chop anything off. It can be slick. That's what we really want to start our sauce off with. It's going to be that out. So I've got my second lovely assistant of the day, the gorgeous Millie. You can catch her on Funny Money on Amazon Prime Video. And she is going to be kicking us off and kicking our sauce off. Alright, so first I'm going to put in the olive oil. And it's, um, let's pull this thing out first. <laughs> don't pull it out all the way, actually. Yeah, pull it out all the way No, you don't want to pull it out all the way, <laughs> but that's okay. Okay. Alright, now I'm going to do the onions. A knife wielding woman again. Wow. Woo. Tis the season. It is. What do we got going on? Uh, so we're, we're going to put in our cheap, cheap wine. Uh, we've made sure that we've let this kind of cook to soften the onions, and the garlic is now fragrant. It only takes about a minute, you don't want to burn it. Man, if you could smell that aroma coming through, through the camera. Good grief, that's so magic. Magic. Deep glaze. Oh, Getting man. glazed and confused over here. Glazed. Now, what you're going to want to do is reduce this, which means that you're going to cook basically some of the water out. Um, so when it's kind of a syrupy, then we're going to go back to adding things like the rest of the onion, the peppers, uh, the tomatoes, and the uh, tomato paste. Fantastic. All right. 
When yeah. we come back, we'll uh, have our sauce ready and ready to rock and roll. Get those beautiful hands on those tomatoes. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Hey! Are you ready to roll the sex part? I'm gonna need you. Wait. What? What we're doing is sweetening this thing up, so I've got this sweet thing to hook us up with a spoonful of sugar. I've heard it helps the medicine go down, but I can only confirm it's. Hey. Excuse me, lady. Get a little sugar. It helps the medicine go down. <laughs> now it is time to add our crushed tomatoes. That's right, you get to crush your tomatoes, see them driven before you, and hear the lamentation of a beautiful way. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna put the paste in now. There you go. That was good. You're good. Let's put it in. Give it a nice stir, yes? Milston, how are we doing, sweetheart? Uh, she's Fine. got some sweet wrist action, I can say that much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we're back. So, we've got our sauce, as you can see, if you want to bring it on over. It is really coming together, Aerosmith style. Come together, right. right now. Cool me. I'm gonna send that to both of my girlfriends later. Check it out. So, we're going to start on dessert. So I've got, yes, my sweet thing here. She's going to be smashing that butter up in here. We're going to basically put a cup of butter into a saucepan on a medium to medium low heat. And we're going to melt it down. And That'll this is a it. different recipe, yes, right? Yes, this is a completely different recipe. We're on dessert now. This is for your blondies. Now, if you've ever had a brownie, they're basically... The same thing, except the better, the vanilla version. Oh, and she has well, to say that. more fun. So. Oh, very clever. <laughs> I mean, <Really? laughs> so as you can see, we're using our uh, crack spoon to go ahead and scoop it all out. A cup of butter goes in, and you're going to basically melt it down. Once that butter is melted down, we're going to be pouring it over one and one thirds cup of brown sugar, and we're going to whisk that. Okay, so we've got one and one thirds cup of brown sugar. It has to be brown, yes. That's going to go into our measuring cup and then into the bowl, and it will be awaiting the fantastic Sergio. Okay, yes, Sergio, he here to whip it and whip it good. Yes, because it's not getting any other way. Huh? <laughs> Back in the kitchen with Cooking with Chaos, and we have the beautiful, lovely Insergio Bamblasti. Yes, of course. He is here with super deluxe mm, female. Of course, we don't give her name because, well, it's... <laughs> At the end of the day, she's not going to work for club very long anyways. <laughs> so, we've got super deluxe wire whisker you push down and it spin very nice. <laughs> Oh, and so he cannot wait to get in and just whip it. Oh, yes, do it nice and slow for me, Sergio. I know what he like. <laughs> okay, now we get in there with his tool and we make it creamy. Oh, look at it. Look at it spin. It's actually also fun. <laughs> and Sergio, he never spent time in the kitchen because his fucking woman's not a You know, <laughs> this is actually pretty nice. <laughs> look at my wife is always complaining. Or sister, or other 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 sister. Welcome back to Cooking with Chaos with your co-host in such a bomblasty. What we do now, we make the sweet and pour in that sweet, sweet cream that in such a so well known for. Look how sweet it goes. Oh, that is what people like to see. Oh, yes. Mmm. Nice and chunky. It's real problem. <laughs> oh, I think the milk has gone bad. <laughs> Alright, so we have our tray somewhat full. Uh, normally I do these in a brownie tray, but we didn't have a brownie tray because Wolf is like, dude, we can't have a brownie tray in here. I asked him why. Uh, Let's well. just say that it's been used. used. So instead we're going to go with muffins, right? I like to so, stuff my muffins. Go ahead and hug your girl tight. Get that little muffin top cutie together. Shove it on in. Shovel! Oh, shovel in. We're gonna bang these out for 35 minutes. All right, so now before I can make this video go any further, I of course had to bring my uh, personal manager in here to go ahead and uh, you know explain a few things about chicken. 
So, there's a lot of misconceptions about chicken. What you're seeing me do right now is take some of this wrapping and I'm gonna put it over my cutting board because we're about to deal with raw chicken. Now, you do not wash raw chicken. People mistakenly do that. What you're basically doing is spilling salmonella all over your sink. I'm gonna do this to keep the salmonella also off of your cutting board and your counters and all that stuff. I cannot recommend enough that before you choke your chicken, you make sure that you're protected from salmonella. Okay, and it does show up on an STD test. And so Joe, he know how to cook with chaos. Christ, all these, shh, 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 he's entering their environment. He's having you this out the really way, This is dangerous. Go! Go! Let's take a moment of silence for that chicken. R.I.P. bro. Alright? Chicken forever. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our split breast that we just saw live 10 seconds ago. You're gonna go flour first. Which has been seasoned obviously with salt and pepper and with um, Italian spices. Then into the egg wash. Nice and there we go. And then into our breadcrumbs. Alright, we are bathing the chicken in its own young. Make sure you get them breadcrumbs pushed in there, man. You want a nice crispy crust on the outside of your chicken. It's good. And then hot oil. Hot. Careful putting it in. We don't want anybody to get burned, except for the chicken that we just slaughtered. All right, and you're basically going to fry it for about two minutes on each side until you get a crispy golden brown. The easy thing to do is, of course, just lift up kind of a side. It looks like it's fried up nicely. Now I'm going to turn the heat down a bit. There we go. That's what we want. We want to get some color on our chicken farm around there. Hey, in the world, I can't involve my man Wolf when it comes to yanking his chicken. Yanking on chickens, baby. Here we go, okay. We're going to, from the wok to the, to this, to the pan, to the pan. Oil, oil your pan up real good. From the wok, though, to the walls. Still sweat throughout no. the wall. No. Oh. Sorry. Actually, all right, so, we're going to put our pot pan, but don't do it like I just did and break your pasta. A lot of people like to break their pasta. Don't do that. It takes away from flavor. So we're gonna slide it in there like this. Let it sit. And we'll come back and pop Now that we've got our caps done up, as you can see, there's all the insides that are scooped. We're gonna chop these up. We're gonna fry them in the pan with some olive oil. We're gonna add Parmesan and cheeses and spices to it. And it's gonna be the base of the mixture that goes into the mixture. What were you saying about breasts? They're quite nice. Oh, yes. They are. <laughs> Our mixture is kind of cooked down. We're going to fill these mushrooms with more mushrooms. See how the cheese is kind of incorporated into the olive oil there? It's going to bring that flavor of the Parmesan and give it the saltiness. Why well, we didn't go ahead and salt. Now, you want to go ahead and season your caps. So if you say you don't mind, let's go ahead and season those caps. Okay, As you can see, we've got a pretty clean pan because our stuffing didn't go too long, so we didn't burn our cheese. Uh, we doused it with the olive oil, so it's got a little tiny layer there. And as you can see, we're basically going to go I'm ahead... I'm <laughs> not do well with instruction. We're going to go ahead and put our caps back into this pan. Now, the other way to make stuffed mushrooms is to go ahead and do it by the oven. I prefer to go ahead and pan them. Now that we've got them back in the pan, we're basically going to fry them up for about five minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and crank the heat up to about six, and then we're going to cover this. A little more dash of olive oil, and we are set to check. Now, mind you, I'm a pepper guy. Is that a pepper? Yeah. We're going to pepper these up on the top, just as a little top. Of our pasta, this is which the we've, put, uh, we've put some butter and some olive oil back into it. Let's go ahead and... And a little garlic salt. A little garlic salt, that's right. A little, a little touch of class, if you will. Uh-oh. 
All right, we want a nice bed of pasta, whether you use fettuccine, angel hair, etc., is up to you. This is a man-sized plate, baby. All right, and of course, now that we've got our bed of pasta done, what I like to do is go ahead and add a little bit more of that cheese. Uh, Miss Millie, do you want to Parmesan me a little bit? Parmesan. Gotcha. There you go. Just a little bit. Just a little. Just a little Dash bit. it over the pasta. Just a little go. bit. We're going to take one of our cooked chicken breasts. We're going to bed it. We're going to head on over to our sauce pot. A nice helping of that sauce across the breasts because that's the best way to shoot it. Down. And then, of course, we're going to top it with our mozzarella cheese, which is a little mm -hmm. Don't worry about the cheese melting, and please, God, don't stick your food in the microwave. It just dries it out. I hate that. Don't do that. The cheese will melt itself. You're going to let this sit for a second and then serve. It's such a Hinochi man of quality, so occasionally you have to treat yourself. You give candles and a little mood lighting, and uh, he would be lying if he said this was not the first time he'd ever buried his face in Italian goodness. <laughs> You have been watching Cooking with Chaos, your host, host Wolfgang Miles, you have James Randall, you have Everybody Real Unicorn, you have Funny Money, now we eat. My name is Wolfgang Miles and you've just watched an episode of Cooking with, with chaos. chaos.